I would say the most farm to table I've ever experienced in my life. Like literally, the farm is right there, here comes the food. Never frozen. Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Shushi, the Republic of Artsar. I'm here with my guy Lucine, and today we're gonna go eat some traditional Artsar food right here at Old Shushi Restaurant. And then after this, what are we gonna do? After this, we're gonna explore a little bit the city of Shushi, which is on the top of the rock, on the top of the mountain. And then we will continue to the southern border of the Artsakh to enter Armenia. Like we came in through the northern border, now we, are ex we exit through the southern border. Perfect, I'm super excited. I'm really, really hungry. Let's go inside and eat some food. I need some wine, some vodka. Sure, why I don't, is I don't care. There? Anything, anything, let's go. <laughs> My man, how you doing? Fine, how are you? Good, good. good. I'm hungry. You I'm ready. Hungry. I'm starving. Tired. I'm starving. Yeah. This reminds me of Rakia in like in Croatia, Bosnia. Similar. It's similar. They're still grapes. Like what's going? Oh my god. Oh wow, that's good. Check out this incredible feast at Old Sushi. The food looks incredible. Here we have, I think this is eggplant from what I see. Eggplant, tomatoes, some paper, so they barbecue these on natural fire and turn it into salad. Incredible. Plus we got trout, we have a lamb. The lamb just looks so good. It has carrots, what else is in here? Looks like, I don't even know what this Vegetables. is. What is that? Is the fat. That's the fat. And I was like, what is this? This is like a potato. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most important part that gives a flavor all this dish. Perfect, and then we have some lavash, we have some greens, and we have delicious vodka. This is like almost like rakia, grappa, I mean, distilled grapes. This is the key of the table. Are we finishing this? Let's do it. <laughs> Dragon, dragon bread, dragon bread. <laughs> and here I have this drink that's made out of this herb. That tastes like, a, like medicine. <laughs> it's good though. Yeah. I'm gonna try some of this too. Do you want me to serve you some? Yeah, thank you. Great. Fine. Wow. So I grab a piece of lamb right here. Let's try from the salad. The salad. Let's start from the salad. Okay. <laughs> mm. Incredibly barbecued <laughs> veggies. The eggplant is what stands out the most, but you also have tomato in there. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. So moist, so cold, fresh. And fresh. Mm. Then we have some bread, obviously. Oh, is that bread? Always in this part of the world, we got bread. You put some salad on top. Mm -hmm. Look at that, look at that lamb, whoa. You have onions, I don't know what the herb is there, but it looks so good and fresh and fatty. You got some ribs, because I'll dry my hands. Mm, like butter. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Here in Arsar, there's a lot of farmland. You know, some super fresh lamb, beef, veggies. The food is super, like, I would say the most farm to table I've ever experienced in my life. Like literally, the farm is right there, here comes the food. Never frozen. I mean, what I suggest is that you go in here and just start picking away at it. The best flesh is usually stuck to the bone, you know? Always. Mm. Careful the bones, they're not that bad. I'm gonna try this though. I'm gonna try the fat. You wanna try it? Oh, you don't like it? You don't like it? No, man. That's like heaven. I'll tell you this, it tastes like brains. Really? Have you tried brains before? No. <laughs> it's straight mush. It's like fat, fat, fat. It's the purest form of fat you could ever see. 
and taste. And for you, David, for our friendship, for the ladies that were accompanying you for th those days, and for these incredible days. Genas, 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 genas. I'm gonna try this cheese. What's this cheese? Local cheese? Homemade, homemade local cheese. Mm. Wow. Mm. So creamy, salty, so fresh. Like ridiculous. This like came out of the farm today, right? Uh, I suppose, yes. As I said yesterday, this guy was like playing in this, in this field. Wow. All right, so look, I got the trout. I went with the head. The reason I go with the head is because I got the eye. This is the most important part, the healthiest part for you. Wow, look at that. Look at that. If I can get it, and then I'm gonna rip off. Well, I sort of lost it there. Let me see. Ooh, look at this. Where the spines at? Everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you clean it up really fast. You want me to do it very, really, very fast? I feel like this piece might not have any spines. You just need to understand the body of the fish, mm -hmm. and you can guess yeah, how to. You go from the spine to yeah. here. Is everything. Mm -hmm. You want wow. me to help you with it? Yeah, I mean, if you can help me, it'd be yeah, great. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll cut it up for you. <laughs> yeah. 100 US dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure good? done. So, yeah. Perfect. Sure. Well, I gotta go into the cheek, right? Eventually. Yes, cheek is the best. <laughs> so I'm literally gonna just go all in. <laughs> mm. Mm. Here we have some pomegranate sauce. Just drizzle. Whoa, not too much. Almost looks like balsamic, like the density and the darkness. Mm. <laughs> wow. It's a garlic. I'm not a fan of the garlic. So I'd rather go here and just pull the cheeks apart. Let's go deep. Where is it? Mm. The cheeks. Genats, the good health. Genats, The future. This is a tomato omelette with some papers, some local style with some onions. For example, in Armenia we do only tomatoes and egg, but in uh, Artsakh they like to add some papers, they like to do it more spicy and add some onions. So you have to eat these eggs with lavash. So just break it up, go in, grab Artsakh sandwich. Egg sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. You can feel the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Armenia it's different, in our sake it's more spicy, more yeah. flavor is You richer. feel like there's a spice, you got the onion, I don't know if you have some pepper in there. I love doing this. Using my hands to eat, making a little sandwich. This is like, almost like a pita slash a patty. Look how good this is. And here we have local hot wine, right? Yes, and they sell it with the clay glasses. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, by the way, this is Aramaic. It's Aramaic? Yes. Wow. We, you find a lot of very ancient inscriptions on Aramaic like about Armenia. It goes back like 9th century before Christ. Well, Aramaic is the language that Christ spoke, so... Aramaic, yeah, exactly. So it's really like symbolic for the area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of the petroglyphs you find on Armenian mountains. They, they can be dated back to 5th millennium even before Christ. Wow. These are the signs like petroglyphs on Armenian mountains. In, in Artsakh we also have this kind of petroglyphs. So they use very ancient style to make their clay glasses. This is the hashlama? Yeah. In, in Armenian, like lamb dish, we call it gari hashlama. This is so good. Check this out. I'm gonna grab this piece. Look how delicious this is. It's so fresh. You know, the lamb is the baby sheep. And the reason why we always eat lamb over sheep is because lamb has only drunk milk. It's never grazed. 
Oh. Tastes better. The fat. You can't, right? You can't eat that? You can eat there. No, I eat it. I'm saying you. No, I can't eat that. Mm. But you do great. Keep going. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> So we just finished this incredible feast here at the old sushi, sushi restaurant. Amazing. Now we're gonna go for a quick walk through the old town, see a little bit of it. They also have a fortress. Unfortunately, we don't have time to see that. We're gonna just see some of the older buildings. Let's go. Let's go explore. So we're here in the center of sushi, and this is Gaza Central. Gaza Chetot. Okay, and 19th century church. 19th century church. Wow. This is the symbol of sushi, and uh, became a symbol of Artsakh people. Wow, beautiful church. I love it. It's very different. You have this like this sort of like a watchtower, a cupola, right? It's, in the middle. Uh, a bell tower? Bell tower, sorry, yeah. yeah. I've been to a lot of them. <laughs> but, but you guys say cupola, so. <laughs> There's so much terminology in architecture. This is a bell tower, we are walking through it, and we are entering the church, and there's something really, really special I want to show you under the altar. We go under the altar, where all the monks used to say prayers. Let's see how you are going to say your speech in there and what kind of a feelings you're going to have in there whoa it feels like i'm entering a crib right here right under the altar what is this okay this is if they call it god point and when the monks they used to come here and give prayers there was a feeling like god tells them the prayer god is talking to them so let's try it i have to take off my hat and here, as you can hear, I'm echoing throughout the whole place. It's like, oh. it's like when you talk, echo is the same time while you're talking, the same time the, it comes back to you. Your, yeah. Where your words, your voice comes back to you and it seems like it, this is not you talking, but the God is talking to you. Amen. <laughs> So right outside the church, there's two vendors. One inside the complex, one right outside the street, and they're selling lots of crafts. And I'm gonna buy this. What was the name again? This is We Are Our Mountains, or Grandpa and Grandma. All right, how much for this? How much? Each kind of, what is this? This is 2,000, this is 4,000. It's like about $5, and this is about uh, $8. Right. This is also nice. No? I think this that one's is, nicer. This is nicer. I like right, it. I'll take the smaller one. Yeah. Schnorra <laughs> Galatsun. Yes. Have a good <laughs> trip, another country, and we welcome to you in our town. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing people. Amazing people. <laughs> we love you. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Right there. Uh, it sucked. <laughs> All right, we have to go. We're running. Let's go. We have everything like I expected you to have. I'm so glad you have everything we expected you to have. I'm so happy for that. Let's go back to Armenia. Let's go. This is Lachin Corridor and this is the Stofern Corridor uh, road that unites Armenia to Republic of Artsakh and actually from Stepanakert to first available overnight in Armenia it will take you just two hour drive. That's it? That's it! Wow! So we have less than two hours because we're up in the mountain in Sushi. Sushi. Yes. Sushi. 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 I'm sorry, I like sushi a lot, so yeah. I'll say sushi no, all day. Sushi. Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> so we got about a 90 minute drive to get out of here. I uh, can't wait. I mean, it's exciting. I re really wish I had more time. You know, one day, 36 hours is definitely not enough time. 
you have so many other things. You have wineries, you have other trails. I mean, you have endless possibilities here, more monasteries, more like historical sites, ancient cities. I really wish I had time to go there, but each one takes like time, half a day for every site at least because you're in a mountainous community. So always think about time. So when you come here, I would say at least four nights if you want to really do it correctly. If you want to come experience, you know, one night, like, like we did, you know, I actually wasn't coming here. That was just an add-on. We just figured it out and we added it onto the trip. But yeah, I'm super excited to go back to Armenia. Can't wait. We're gonna see an amazing spot, the next spot. And whoa, look at all the mountains. We're like in the middle of this mountain range. We're just crossing through the entire thing. It, the, 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 the roads, like really just like, just like grab onto the mountain. If you go straight, you're on a cliff. <laughs> Dude, don't scare me. <laughs> the views that we are getting right now are incredible. The colors, this is fall. Going around the mountain, like really just sucking onto it, stuck to it. Wow, this is so nice. I mean, what, what I think is the best part is that like, it's really hard to get here. And I can't even imagine about 2000 years ago being here. It's crazy. Yes. Like going up with like a chair, not even just a horse, right? Yeah, they, they were they were here. They were making connections. They were making trade. So and from kings from Armenia were very interested on Artsakh land, as as you know, they even built a nation city, Tigranagar, which is first century before Christ. But the connection is much more older than that. So Artsakh became part of Armenia from ninth century before Christ, like united part people are feeling very united to each other as you see this is uh, this is your sandwich David <laughs> oh. I mean we made it here to the border today has really been amazing the food and sushi 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 so we had an incredible feast we tried some mulberry vodka wow that was that was like so good. Imagine grappa in Italy, you know, rakia in Croatia, so good. Amazing trout, veg, bread. You like the lamb. The lamb fat, the lamb fat. The lamb fat was insanely good, insane. And then we saw the church. The church had the acoustics in the bottom of the altar. It's called God's Voice. You said God's Voice? God's Point. God's Point, God's Point. We sang, a few other people sang. I mean, basically just like showing how like amplified it is so the echo just is like literally a millisecond after you speak it's like Rrr! so when you speak it's like really different i've never heard that before i've never felt that experience awesome you know i bought something right there i bought like the symbol of the country the the grandparents heads right uh -huh. with the mountains <laughs> and then we drove we drove about 90 minutes all the way to the border you know the scenery here it really is a different world you really just like glued onto the mountain the whole way and it's really really beautiful so different the sun is setting i hope you like this video if you did give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content that was Artsat. where have you been where have you been <laughs> <laughs>